Oh, I forgot. Damn it, I forgot the lights. Much better. What is up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessie. So if you did not read the title to this video, I am starting kind of like a little series. It's not going to be something set in stone because it really just depends on the book. But I'm going to try to reread books I've DNF'd. One that was requested and I have suggested was Lock Every Door by Riley Sager. I love Riley Sager's books. I recently reread Final Girls and absolutely loved it just as much as the first time. But I would also say Home Before Dark is my favorite. Then I would say Final Girls, The Last Time I Lied. Like they're all like super, super good. This one, when I first read this one, I was not impressed at all. So I'm excited to try to give this one another shot because I know there's a lot of people that love this one. So from what I remember, you have our girl named Jules. She gets this job opportunity to become an apartment sitter at this well-known, very prestigious apartment complex called the Bartholomew. Basically, she becomes really good friends with another apartment sitter, and then the apartment sitter goes missing, so Jules is like, what in the world? So she kind of like investigates. I will let you know, I know the plot twist at the end of this book. I will let you know that because I've heard, but I don't think that's going to stop me from like truly, you know, critiquing this book as far as like my enjoyment and things like that. The one thing I remember from the first time I read this book was Jules has the worst luck. So much bad luck that it was like unbelievable. Like her parents died, her sister went missing years ago, she got fired, she found out her boyfriend was cheating on her, she doesn't have anywhere to go. And I was just like, like, like what else do you want to give this girl besides, you know, what she already has like I just I, like I just couldn't get around that. I'm gonna start this vlog by rereading this one. I will say I am going to take my camera so there will be some other clips like today I'm actually going to a winery with some of my friends. We are going to this winery that we all love to go to and basically it's one of my best friends. He's for one it's his birthday. For two he's actually moving to New Orleans so this will probably be my last time that I see him for a good while. All right, we are leaving the house. I have not read the book, but I changed my shirt into this like athletic camo shirt, which is super cute. And it's so flipping hot. It's it says it's 67 degrees, but I swear it feels like 70, maybe 80. I don't know. Maybe I'm being a little dramatic, but I'm going to start the audiobook, get this drive going. Cause I do have about a 20 minute drive to meet everyone. So yeah, let's get this started. Penguin Random House Audio presents Lock Every Door by Riley Sager. I do not belong here. But the ad didn't mention an address. It simply announced the need for an apartment sitter and provided a phone number to call if interested. Evelyn answered and gave me an interview time and an address. Lower 70s, Upper West Side. Yet. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to like jump in here real quick just because I'm on chapter two of the audiobook and our main character, Jules, is getting interviewed by this Leslie girl who is like the, I guess, residential service manager of this apartment building. When answering some of her personal questions, Jules reveals that her birthday is May 1st. And what do you think today is? It's May 1st. Like, how ironic is that? Like, that's crazy. So, yeah. I just had to, like, share that because I was like, this must be a sign that I really needed to read this book. So, anyways, back with our scheduled programming.
next day and I have been super super busy with like cleaning up the house I still have some cleaning to do and laundry but I wanted to let you guys know that I have been listening to the audiobook and I've gotten to the part where I decided to DNF it last year so I will say this I am very much enjoying the book however I can completely understand and justify why I first DNF this book I just feel like our main character Jules is like kind of stupid <laughs> I don't know why but I just feel like she's doesn't Think, and I feel like there's so many red flags that obviously as a reader you're supposed to see these red flags but I'm just like how stupid can Jules be I don't know and then I've gotten to the point where I've like noticed like the incon the convenient inconveniences of Jules's life like her sister went missing her parents are dead she got fired she got cheated on she's homeless she has no money and I'm just like mm -hmm. I get it but like your life like it just doesn't seem like granted that can happen I'm not like you know downing that this isn't a possibility but it just feels like it's very unbelievable sometimes but I will say listening to it as an audiobook I am enjoying this a lot more so it's actually 8 30 and I have done nothing but clean the house and I film two videos today edited one is supposed to go up tomorrow on monday around 7 30 i think is what i said it to but after that me and my husband actually went to my older sister's house um to celebrate mother's day even though it's not mother's day but a lot of people have other plans that weekend so we decided to all come together the week before mother's day so yeah we literally got home about an hour ago and i literally have done nothing but get on tiktok so but for some reason I am like in an e-book reader like mood. I don't know why but I don't want to like physically read because my husband's trying to sleep and this is just a lot easier and more convenient. So I, I went ahead and downloaded the e-book from my library. So I'm going to sit here for about 30 minutes and read some of the book and then I'm probably going to go ahead and go to bed. I could barely stop yawning. So I think I'm going to grab Ovi. Ovi, do you want to go lay down in the bed? He's being so cute. Like, look how adorable he is. He's like, Mom, I'm ready to go to bed. Please let me out. Ovi is literally the only dog that sleeps in the bed with us. The other two, they have their kennels that they sleep in with their dog beds and everything. So, <sighs> Yeah, Ovi's literally waiting at the door telling me to, oh, it's time for bed. So I guess we're going to go to bed. You want to go to bed? You want to go to bed? It's time for bed. So. Good morning, guys. It is the next day. It is May 3rd. Oh my god, how are we in May already? Like, this is just insane. Anyways, before we head into work, I wanted to kind of give, like, a small update. I am now entering, like, new territory with this book. So, everything I'm probably going to say from here on out will be spoilers. I'm going to try to say there's spoilers in the beginning of this video. But, anyways, for now on, for the rest of the video, there will probably be spoilers. So... I'll give you a few seconds to click off if you need to. Okay. Okay. So I got to the part with the fire, which I did not see this coming just because you are getting like most of the stories told in the past of like what happened as like Jules is entering this building and living there for the six days. And then there are glimpses of the present where she's escaped the Bartholomew. And now I think we're like on day like four, maybe three. And there's this fire that's like burning up like half the building. And I'm just like, I did not see this coming. So that was shocking. Kind of interesting. I'm really curious how the fire got started. Hopefully that will be answered. But yeah, as far as I know, 
Jules saved Rufus the dog, Greta, the old lady writer of Heart of the Dreamer, and I guess Nick's arrived. I don't know. He's the one that saved Jules because she was sleeping, so I don't know, but we shall see. I'm going to go to work now. Oh my God, you guys, I am so flippin' excited. So I'm on lunch. Obviously, I haven't read anything. Oh my gosh, there's a cute dog. What's he doing? Let me show you. Look at that cute dog. Aren't you cute? Ow. Oh. Sorry, I get very easily distracted. But I'm so excited. So I have been on YouTube for a little over a year and one of my very best like YouTube friends, her name is Jacqueline. I talk about her like all the time. But honestly, go follow and support her. She's so wonderful. But recently she did a video about how she's been getting like physical arcs from publishers and she is much bigger of a youtuber than i am she even has two channels and everything but i have been wanting to get arcs for the longest time but honestly i've just been a little too scared and haven't really dived into like the nitty-gritty details but she did a video all about how she does it all of her tips and tricks and secrets and she even has a notion which I just recently started getting into Notion, which that's like a whole separate topic. But basically she gives her template of everything she does in order to like track and like send out these ARC requests. So Friday, I sent out like maybe 10 emails to publishers requesting different ARCs that are coming up. And you guys, I just got an email back from Harper Collins saying they're sending me The Stranger in the Mirror by Liv Constantine. I am so excited. I'm shocked that they're even sending me anything. So thank you again, Jacqueline. I'm going to link her video down in the description because she's just wonderful and all of her tips and tricks were perfect. All right. So I just got home and the puppies are wiped out from all the running outside, but they just got fed. Ain't that right? He's too busy with this little ball but anyways i wanted to let you guys know that i got my book of the month box anyways i just got my box i'm getting ready to open it if you don't know what book of the month is it's a subscription service where basically you get like super crazy discounts on new release books i do have a link in the description if you're curious on signing up oh my god the bookmarks they give you are so freaking hilarious oh my gosh okay so I always typically go for the thriller option, but sometimes I will go for something a little different like the romances. But the one I decided to pick, and I think this is a new release or like an early release, but it's the last thing he told me by Laura Dave, I believe. And I've never heard or read anything by this author, but this one sounds really good. It sounds more like a thriller mystery. This one sounds more like a thriller mystery, but basically it's this woman who's either dating or married to this guy and he has a daughter from like another relationship and he gives her like this like super cryptic message saying like take care of my daughter and then he like vanishes and like all these people are like out to get him and she doesn't know like who this guy really is after all. So I'm super excited and I love this color yellow. But look at this bookmark it says i'm a freak in between the sheets ain't that the damn truth anyways so yeah i have some dinner cooking over here i'm waiting on my husband to get home but i'm gonna change and put some comfy clothes on yeah i'm gonna eat change or no i'm gonna change and eat and then i'm gonna park my ass on the couch and like relax because today was such a hard day so yeah. Good morning everyone. It is the next day. I have to literally leave for work in like three minutes, but I wanted to give like a quick update on Lock and Redoor. I didn't get as much reading done. However, I did want to give like some thoughts and opinions. So I'm like 65% into the book and so far I am enjoying it. However, I can still see like how I was still annoyed with where I like ended up DNFing it. So it does make sense of why Jules's like inconvenience throughout her life kind of makes sense as to like the predicament that she's in um, And again, this will have spoilers. I think I've mentioned that before But because Jules literally has like practically no one in her life like nobody's gonna come looking for her just like 
all the other apartment sitters. So that makes sense. Jules now has started talking to Dylan, which is the other apartment sitter, about Ingrid going missing and then Aaron. Yeah, is that her name? Erica. She's also talked to him about Erica, who was the previous tenant in her apartment that went missing. So it makes sense why everyone's connected the way they are. So I did, I will say, since she found Erica's phone in the heating vent, it does, like things are starting to pick up a lot more, which I am enjoying because I was waiting for like something thrilling to happen. So I don't know. Here's my thoughts though. So when it goes to the now chapters where she's like in the hospital, I don't think she's really in the hospital. That's just my opinion. I think she is somewhere in the Bartholomew and she's being played. I don't know. I think there's something going on. Also, if you've read the book, I have a strong feeling that we should not be trusting Dr. Nick. I do know like the main plot twist of like, why things are happening or at least I was told what happens but like not in detail so I don't know but I have got to go to work so I'm gonna hop in my car listen to the audiobook on the way to work and get today over with I'll see you guys in the next update This Greta chick is literally lying to Jules and saying that she's never given any of the other apartment setters a signed copy, even though Jules knows that's a lie because she has seen Ingrid's copy and Erica's copy. I knew there was something weird about this. I feel like it has something to do with Greta's family basically living in the Bartholomew for like decades has something to do with like their family history i don't trust her i don't trust anyone that lives in this apartment so i don't know we'll see well i guess we all know it's the doctor because <laughs> like i knew that was gonna happen but like <laughs> i'm still like surprised in a way i don't know why I don't know. I really think I've like misjudged this book a little too early because I am starting to like really enjoy it now that things are starting to pick up and like connection like the dots are starting to connect and like things are getting revealed so I am liking it a lot more so far. Okay so Ingrid is alive. I don't know how I feel about that. Honestly, I feel like I would like it better if she was dead. I don't know why. But I didn't see that coming. So, but my thing is, is she going to like tell Jules what's really going on? I need to know. I'm 77% into this book and I'm pretty sure I'm going to finish it tonight. I would love to finish it tonight. So that way in the morning I can give my final thoughts. What is up you guys? So it is the next day. So I ended up going to bed with like a pretty bad headache and I just wasn't in the mood to continue reading. However, I woke up this morning like around like 5.30 in the morning and it was like, let me open my Kindle. But I actually did finish Lock Every Door by Riley Sager and I will have to say, I'm kind of surprised that I liked it way more than I originally did. But I will say the last, I would say the second half of this book is what really makes this book good. The whole like first half and like build up of like Jules entering the Bartholomew and everything like that, like drove me crazy the first time. Didn't drive me as crazy this time. However, I think it's because I was expecting it, but I don't know. I really just couldn't get past like the whole like convenient 
inconveniences that happened in her life. There was just too much, like, too much. It was just convenient that this girl has just been very, has just had it the worst. So, so moving on to the final plot. This will have spoilers. So, if you've made it this far and you're still not wanting to hear spoilers, please click off because I will be spoiling it. I will say, however, obviously, you kind of know it's somebody that lives in the Bartholomew that's behind everything. I kind of feel like if I did know the ending, I would obviously think it's Leslie. However, I kind of saw the whole it being Nick, the doctor, the whole time. Just because, like, he was just the one person that was actually, like, on Jules's side with finding, you know, Ingrid and everything. Ingrid coming back, that did surprise me. I, I honestly thought Ingrid died or was murdered or went missing. So, having it be Nick at the end was not that surprising. I mean, I know, like, why he did what he was doing. But, like, even if I didn't know, it was because of the whole, like, taking organs to, like accommodate the people that live in this building like I kind of saw Nick being the person regardless I would personally I don't know if this was explained and I just kind of like oversaw it but I would kind of like to know like how he was getting into the rooms and like what happened to Dylan the other apartment sitter like I'm just assuming that he was murdered as well not only that if this has been going on for a while like how many people in this like building have really bad health issues like I, that's the only thing that just seemed a little like out of the ordinary and like not even questioned like do, do people just come to this building to live there knowing that they're gonna have they're guaranteed to have a like organ transplant I don't know that part was just a little weird I will say I did like the second half I very much enjoyed it I would say I don't do half ratings on stars. I like to be a little bit more, like, a little bit more, you know, concrete, like, not in between. But if I was giving a half star, I would say three and a half, but I'm going to settle with a three star. Is this better than all of Riley Sager's other books? No. I still think this is, out of the four, I do say this is the bottom one. However, I will say I did much enjoy it this time, and I'm glad I gave it a second chance. Like, even though I kind of knew what happened going into it, I'm kind of glad that I gave this one a second chance. So, all right, guys, that is everything for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Definitely let me know if there's, like, another vlog challenge I should do or if I should try rereading other books I DNF'd in the future. I would love to see what you guys think I should read. Um, the only one I could think of is The Winter People, but I just recently DNF'd that one, so I know I'm not ready to reread that one. Okay, my battery's dying, but I'm gonna get off here. I hope you guys all have a great day. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on another future video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!